what is up guys god bless you all and welcome back to another video today we're going to start the speak density conversion on the nissan Sentra. good morning good afternoon good evening from where you guys watching us like you guys heard today we're going to start the speed density conversion on the Sentra and this what it means is that I'm planning to delete the math sensor what I want to do I want to delete the math to change to a map setting using IAT and this basically going to allow us to be basically more effective with the tuning and of course delete the math because nobody wants a math on the car so I should have the chance to basically have the turbo open or do whatever I like so before uh, I keep talking, let me show you what I have. All right, so in order to actually uh, swap to speed density, you're gonna need a standalone ECU. In my case, I'm using a new Smotronic ECU from an SR20DE. And besides that, you're gonna need obviously a map sensor. This one is a GM style three bar map sensor. You're gonna need uh, to have your board welded. Huge shout out to JK Tune for doing this uh, soldering on the board for me. I'm gonna need a new filter since I don't wanna use this one. So basically I'm gonna use a spin on the turbo. Besides that, you're gonna need basically um, the IAT sensor. My sensor is actually right here, you guys can see it. Um, of course, you're gonna need uh, plugs for the wiring for both sensors and you're gonna need to basically wire everything to inside the car to this box right here, which this one will connect to the Nismotronic ECU. So now that I got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start basically mounting the sensors. Uh, this one is gonna basically go straight to the manifold. I don't wanna tee this sensor out of nothing because this one is the one that's gonna reboot and vacuum. So I wanna make sure that this one gets the best reading, the most accurate reading as possible. So yeah, let me start <clears throat> removing this <clears throat> and then I'm gonna start mounting the sensors. And then after that, we're gonna get the laptop to load up a base map with the map sensor and see how that goes. So yeah, let's go. So a few seconds later, I got the whole thing out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually mount this one and we're gonna do this uh, the easy way. And just like that, I couldn't mount the new turbo guard. This one is actually a little too thick and because of my setup, I cannot fit it in. So I guess what I'm gonna have to do would be to actually use the pipe that I had and remove the math for now and try that way because honestly I just wanted to run like that but I'm scared since everything is so open that a uh, stone or something on the street can get stuck on it and then I will destroy the turbo so yeah I wanted to use this but it's not gonna work it's, it's too thick it's my setup that's it is what it is so yeah, let me actually mount back the old setup without the math. Let's try that right now. And boom, yeah, just like that, I got the pipe back. It's not what I was looking for, but this is what I can do to be honest. So I got the mesh right here. Let me show you from the other side. You guys can see it right there, it's actually hidden. I tried to put the filter back, but it doesn't fit. This actually is very tight over here, so it's very uh, complicated, but this is, this will do it right now. So I went ahead and also mount the map sensor. It's gonna be here for now. Maybe so you guys saw the IAT. I showed you earlier here. Huge shout out to Manny. He's actually well that one, that bone for me on the aluminum pipe. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna start actually throwing all the wiring inside the car. And I'm not gonna show you because looking at wiring is kinda boring, but I explain you everything after I get everything mounted. So yeah, let's go. All right, so much, much later, I got all my wiring done. 
um, right here. This one right here is actually my AAT or air temperature sensor that they're wearing right here. And this one actually is going all the way inside the car to that hole that I made. Um, also, I have my map sensor. Actually, I got all the wiring as well going inside the same hole that I made. And this one connects to the Nemo. Let me show you. All right, I got my Nemo actually right here. This is where I have all my wiring connected um, in the back of it. Let me try to show you. You guys can see uh, right there, I have my two points welded. That was done by John at JK Tune. Huge shout out to him. On the other side, I got all my wiring connected. I'm using the ADC0 for my wideband, ADC1 for map sensor, ADC2 is actually open. I got ADC3 for the IAT, which is the one that is welded. Then I got a ground connector right there. I got the five bolts uh, going to the map sensor and I have 12 bolts and ground from the ECU to power the Nemo. So uh, basically this is gonna be connected with a, a line cable, which it goes right there and I have it on top of the ECU. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close this one up, put it back and I'm gonna get my laptop, load all the map, assign all the sensors to the right input and try to start up the car. So yeah, let's go. All right, so I went ahead and did my changes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car and let's see if it starts and go from there. All right, so let's try that real quick. Everything's on. Um, right now I'm looking at the computer and I see my AET readings and also I see my map load right now you can see it's actually right there hope i don't know if you can see it but um let's go and there it is obviously from now on we got a lot of tune to do but uh yeah let me show you the engine bay so that way you guys can see that i have no math connected Let's go around the block. I'm not gonna go too crazy because it's not tuned, but you guys should be able to see a dragon, right? Let's go. All right, so let's go now. Yeah, the car is a mess. I still have to finish the wiring. From when I removed the AM. But I'll do that in another time. All right, everything seems to be working decent. Again, I have my math right here. Yeah, I have, always have an issue with the idle. That's the same thing I was having before. I think it's a vacuum leak, but I'm not sure. Far looks very decent.
So yeah, guys, there you guys have it. Successfully, I got the Nissan Sentra with a speed density swap. So no more map sensor. And now we got the map sensor with the IAT. It should make tuning a lot easier and overall it looks better. And in my opinion, it's more efficient. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. I'm gonna have this one coming soon and have a good one. God bless you all.